dream can come true. I, I wrote the song on a guitar, recorded it with some friends, made a version here, um, and put a video out. From the beginning, Joe Biden has worked for equality, and Kamala Harris embodies um, the beautiful diversity of this country. Hope and history rhyme when we rise. People here are very happy and very overwhelmed with the fact that you know somebody from our city, from our state, and our country has you know been you know the vice president of the United States of America. <laughs> I, I wrote the song on a guitar, recorded it with some friends, made a version here, um, and put a video out. But because I, I am an immigrant myself and I was very inspired by the fact that Kamala Harris um, had Indian roots, um, Tamil in fact, um, I wanted to um, sort of celebrate that and make a version. And I had been talking uh, before with KC, who I thought was a great musician. And, you know, we wanted to collaborate on something, maybe something on film, something like that. He would score some of my films or something. We were just talking about general things. And I said, hey, why don't you help me with this? And we had very little time, um, but he did a magnificent uh, job. And, and I was very, very happy with the collaboration. I, I think I gave him the song, a version of it on, on the day of election. Yeah. I think, he, you know, that's how it, 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 it all happened in a jiffy, you know. It, it, it hit me like a storm, like I can say. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. The original version was more of rock and, uh, you know, it, it had guitars and violins and all that stuff. The Indian version basically, you know, and it, it had a completely American sensibility to it, the version. So for the Indian version, I thought I'd go the Indian way, you know, like, you know, here, not exactly Indian, like an, as in, you know, very classical, Carnatic and all that stuff, but a fusion of what would appeal to the global audience as well as have Indian roots in it so that, you know, uh, typically, uh, connecting to the vibe of uh, Mrs. Kamala Harris. <laughs> so that's what I thought and I made a version. So it has some Indian instruments. Sensibilities are pretty Indian. And I think you would get it once you listen to the version. I guess the idea, my idea of, of creating this version um, was because I wanted to celebrate her as, a, a, as an immigrant, just like I am. And because this is an important, very important reason also why Biden, I mean, he, he, he respects obviously, and, and he's amazed by her as an individual. She's extremely competent and intelligent woman. And we all know her career very well here. But the fact that she is also of Indian descent or immig an immigrant descent in many ways um, is very important because that's part of our identity as the United States, where that's how we started this nation was because of immigrants coming. So I wanted to have a version that specifically celebrated that. And that's where Casey comes in. Um, and, you know, all the credit goes to him for, for bringing all that beautiful um, Indian music and, and his incredible talent to, to this song. And people here are very happy and very overwhelmed with the fact that, you know, somebody from our city, from our state and our country has, you know, been, you know, the vice president of the United States of America. <laughs> Similar ideologies, you know, we've been able to vibe together and, you know, we're looking forward to more uh, productive and fruitful stuff too. Well, I, I see a lot of good things coming up because from the beginning, Joe Biden has worked for equality and Kamala Harris embodies um, the beautiful diversity of this country. On the other hand, uh, Trump has been it, it, way before, you know, when he launched his, his uh, campaign, he was already discriminating uh, Mexican people, saying horrible things, things that I consider hate speech, um, it, you know, and sort of uh, fanning hate getting people riled up and before that when obama was president he was already trying to say that he was legitimate because he had been born in kenya or whatever which were all racist attacks um so he's always been the same person um it's just gotten he's been powered and emboldened by um by many people but but what just happened in the capital i think is helping people wake up to his actual nature and how dangerous that could be 
that we always have to be vigilant against uh, such extra extremism and violence. We can never let it overtake it and never let it get to that, you know, to that position of power because there's no telling how, how dangerous that could be, harmful for everyone and not just here, but around the world. So we'll have a lot of work to do. But right. I believe in the, in the Biden-Harris administration and everybody they've chosen is the most diverse it's going to be the most diverse administration ever. More women than ever in high positions yeah. of power, um, which is amazing. And more people of color. I think people of color are actually in the majority than mm. in, in his administration. So there's more people that are uh, Indian, Latino, white, from every ethnicity. More than uh, you know, more than just one one color. Like Trump was, everybody was white and everybody was male. Most people. Um, and, and his ideology was white supremacist, supremacism, if we want to be honest about it. And, and right now, things are horrible in many ways in the United States now because of Trump and all the extreme right, you know, um, sort of radicalism that he's been fomenting and all that anger. But I don't want the world to forget that people actually voted overwhelmingly in favor of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, that we got um, the Senate. And, and the House of Representatives, that we also won those. And even in 2016, um, you know, Hillary Clinton got more votes, is that we have the Electoral College system, which, you know, doesn't take the popular uh, vote as the main thing, which it should be. But this is just to say that I'm hopeful because a lot of people here um, and the youth are all waking up to how important it is to, to, to fight for the, the the union of, of the world and, and against bigotry and against discrimination based on the color of our skins or, 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 or gender or anything else that we really have to collaborate together and put our best foot forward and, and save the planet. By far, most of Black Lives Matter protests here and around the world, peaceful protests for a very, very important cause. Um, we basically just don't want, we want uh, black, la black people's lives um, valued for what they are, just human lives like every other life. And we have seen many instances of people here um, just killing uh, unarmed black men uh, in a very horrible, horrible way and not enough being done uh, to bring justice to those matters. So I support that cause. Um, I support pacifism, and ironically, if you look at how the response from from the federal government and you know the National Guard or, or the police under Trump, or at least you know those who followed his signal, uh, was very strong and very different from what happened to Capitol. Right? Um, it's just devastating and very unfair. You know, you needed some sort of um, soft policing instead of very hard policing for for that. Um, what well, I, I do believe in, in in peace, but you also have to take into account justice. You cannot have uh, peace if you don't have real justice. If you know, so in the case of of, of Trump, um, we have to repudiate him because he embodies hate. So we have to be honest and say, look, he he's a bigot. Look at what he's doing. Look at what he's saying. Look at his policies, which were, were extremely harsh against immigrants, against refugees, a very uh, white supremacist, and we're not going to tolerate that. So we have to be open and honest and say that. Um, um, with the COVID-19, he completely mismanaged the pandemic. Everybody saw him making fun of it, not wearing masks in the beginning, uh, playing it down, lying about it even when he had the knowledge. That, that it was to spread everywhere. Um, so, and that caused lives of many lives. So we call him out on that. Um, Joe Biden has a, he's a, he has a unifying idea of the country, meaning that we have to try to overcome more differences, but he, he doesn't ignore the, the, everything that's wrong. He knows we have to work on it. And so we can get past it. I actually have a lot of anti-Trump songs that I've never published that I've written for myself. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know. Um, so maybe, um, but I mean, we're going to be focused on, on, on moving forward. We have a great administration coming up. 
um, we have to deal, maybe the songs will be more focused on, on the people who have enabled him and supported him. And, and we have to try to bring them into the light and hold some of them accountable, especially in government, because they knew better. And they were, they were talking about the election being illegitimate and everybody has certified that it was legitimate. And they knew this, they were just sort of playing politics with people, um, trying to please Trump and, and they have to be accountable for that. So maybe a song about that, I, I've got songs for that all, all day and all night. <laughs> I could write songs about that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move forward and there's also songs about unity, I hope, and there's always place for hope. And I'm always hope, hopeful, a hopeful person. I think, yeah, I, I think being negative is sort of self-feeding. Uh, so even in the hardest times, we have to hold on to hope. It's all on